This is Technique Tuesdays and today we're going to be talking about who I believe was the breakout star of Final Battle 2020. Let's talk about the opening match. It was a fantastic outing with four hungry individuals. This was a fatal four-way between Dak Draper, LSG, Tony Deppin and of course Josh the Goods Woods. This match had awesome moments from all participants. We saw Josh the Goods Woods, who might be one of the competitors that truly defines the pure wrestling style. Him going head to head with Dak Draper at the start of the match. Both competitors in excellent physical condition and both are highly decorated amateur wrestlers. Both great amateur wrestlers, both state champion amateur wrestlers. Josh Woods, of course, became a national champion in college. Dak Ew. Draper, one win away in college from being a national champion. You gotta think that eats at him. Moving on from our decorated grapplers, we've got LSG, who I believe embodies that famous quote in combat sports that precision beats power and timing beats speed. Let's take a quick look at one of his sequences. And LSG looking for his opportunity, gets one. Tony Deppin on the outside, that means LSG is the legal man. Knife pitch chop for him, connect. Tinru combination from LSG, ducks the clothesline. It is LSG coming in. I like this LSG, man. This LSG almost got a win over Jay Lethal, and I think it did something to him. And here we go, rocket by baby! How much shrimp did that take? But what he's doing is he is using momentum to his advantage. As Dak Draper charges forward, he doesn't need to fully lift him up. He just needs to go with the motion and then explode upwards. And all of a sudden, he is holding him in the air. And here we go, rocket by baby! How much and he follows it up with a springboard forearm to the face for good measure. Springboard! Catches him. At the end of the match, Josh Woods and Dak Draper are just going hell for leather. They are throwing everything but the kitchen sink at each other. There's knees to the face. There's power bombs. Every tool is being utilized to try and win this matchup because they realize how important a shot at the world television title is. Do it! Dak makes a house call too. Three. Oh, God, two man. Oh. Just a two count there. They don't have a oh. long win. Oh, oh. trap! Triangle choke. Come on, Josh. And Draper's out! Draper's out! He forgot about the third opponent! Frog Splash! What's to the outside? It's Deppin! Where do you go? Two! Tony Deppin wins! They all forgot about the final player, the final chess piece on the board that they weren't paying attention to. And all Tony Deppin has to do is launch himself slingshot into the ring and he lands behind LSG. Now let's watch this. This is a very unique pin. I don't know that I've ever seen this before. It looks like LSG is going to kick out, but what Tony Deppin does is he actually switches the pin position. All Deppin needs is those three seconds to become the number one contender to the world television title. This right here embodies what I love about Ring of Honor right now. It feels like anyone could win. Any one of these competitors would have put on a phenomenal performance. And that's exactly what Tony Deppin did. Now let's talk about when he went against the world television champion, Dragon League. Dragon. What a difference a day can make, especially for Tony Deppin, who has now earned himself a shot at the world television title right here in Ring of Honor. And it's Dragon Lee popping through. Dragon Lee. Here we go, Tony Deppin, great counter. Deppin, very accomplished athlete. One of the best unsigned talents in America yeah, right now. That's what I'm saying. He's facing somebody that deserves to be. There's a lot of back and forth here. There's a lot of technical wrestling. And Dragon Lee actually, I would argue, despite being the champion, makes a mistake that is not usually something that he would do. He turns his back to Tony Deppin to check something with his mask or something like that. And then Tony Deppin sees the opportunity in the same way that he did in the Fatal Four. Five, one, two. Dragon Lee's response to this is extremely important because he's gonna feel somewhat off of his game because he's just almost been pinned for the championship right there and then. So he has to assert some sort of dominance here. And he does that with a big drop kick to Tony Depp and sending him to the outside of the ring. Oh, for his brand new family. Así vamos, papi, que bueno. With the pride of Hershey, Pennsylvania, people we celebrating in Shemokin. Oh! He dives through the middle and top 
rope. And look at this, before he touches the ground, I would say his arm is several meters away from the ring. He's reached an incredible distance to get to his opponent, which just shows how accurate that our champion is. And also, look how Tony Deppin hits the mat as well. That's one thing that we often see in very violent and physical fights is that when someone can get knocked down, it's not necessarily the strike that's the main issue, it's how their head collides with the floor after they've been hit and Tony Deppin takes an extremely difficult fall there after being struck by Dragon Lee. The sheer force of the momentum of him covering that distance with that speed has thrown Deppin backwards and now he's in trouble. Oh, yeah. Dragon Lee is shamanic. And immediately after, Dragon Lee is, he's doing some sit-ups, he's doing some crunches, he's got he's doing some punches, and then he nips up as well. And what he's doing there is he is asserting himself as the champion. Because he turned his back to Deppin, he's likely feeling, I don't want to say embarrassment, but he is, he needs to assert himself here as the champion. And when you're in total control, you know it's not for everyone, but that is one way to do it. So he's showing a little bit of flamboyance there, and he's back in control. As Ring of Honor World Television Champion going to the top, he's defended the title against Zach Draper. Ah. It's Dragon Lee! Ooh. Double stop! Nice. Hooks the leg! Vamos. Two! Let's talk about the end of the match. There was a huge moment for Deppin here when he's up on the top ropes. It's not looking good. Dragon Lee has something in mind. But what Deppin does is he grabs him for a stunner position. And one might think, is he going to go for the, the backpack stunner? Or is he going to go for a cutter from there? But no. Tony Deppin, ah. though. Wow! Oh. What he does is he claims Dragon Lee and he does a forward flip. But he's got him so tight in that cravat position with one arm, it seems that he does a a forward flip and it takes Dragon Lee with him as well and it has completely neutralized the advantage that Dragon Lee had there and then. He follows up with a huge knee to the jaw as well. Wow, yeah. That was, I don't even, oh, oh, the knee! He could have knocked him out! He could have knocked him out! He could have knocked him out! Oh, he knocked him out. Just a two count! Oh, and the thing about this is it's not about does the opponent have enough left to kick out. If they're knocked out, they're knocked out and a knee to the face is one way to do it. Deppin waits for Dragon Lee to get back to his feet. He goes for another knee with the knee pad down, and instead, Dragon Lee looks to hit him with a discus clothesline or elbow, but Deppin hits him with a knee again to the chin. Oh! <laughs> Dragon Lee, though, just doesn't have enough to retaliate at this point. He's so staggered from the damage that he's received. And this is perhaps, I don't wanna say an inexperience, but perhaps the two matches and just the, the magnitude of the situation distracted Deppin from the task at hand, which is winning the title. He grabs Dragon Lee, almost to tell him it's his opportunity. He's gonna become the champion. And did that split second cost him the match? Let's find out. Boys and Rana! Dragon can finish you all it's this incinerator one two oh just a two count there what the he kicks out again unbelievable from Deppin. that moment right there speaks as loudly as any of the moves that he had in the match the ability to kick out of that right there shows that he is championship material but it doesn't matter if you're championship material when you're getting kicked in the back of the head by dragon lee i'm not going to spoil the finish of the match or who became champion but if you haven't seen final battle in its entirety you know what you need to do people go to ringofhonorwrestling.com join honor club and watch it in its entirety because i will tell you now hand on heart it is the best professional wrestling product out there today i hope you enjoyed this episode folks make sure you like share subscribe all that good stuff and thank you again to ring of honor for keeping me busy i love doing technique tuesdays for you but i love getting in the ring even more i can't wait to be back thank you for keeping up with the show while i'm away and i hope you all enjoy the holidays we shall see you next time